In this video, we will take a tour of the BT Link software, highlighting where functions are located and what information is displayed on the main program screen. Let's begin by looking at the main menu for the program. Going from left to right, the first two buttons you will see are the page controls. These allow you to cycle forward or backward with your patient data. The next button is the channels button. BT Link 1.0 currently supports two monitors linked via network. Following the channels button is the patient manager. Clicking this icon will allow you to add, change, or delete patient information. The button to the right of this is the BT Link Review button. This button allows for review and analysis of patient information stored on your computer. The gear icon is the configuration button, and this allows you to change the settings of the program. The X icon closes the BT Link program, and the date and time end the main menu. Underneath the main menu, you will find the client window. This window provides all the information being streamed from your connected patient monitor. In the top left corner, you will find identifying information from the connected monitor. The order of this data is bed number, unit name, and patient name. If an alarm has been triggered in the unit, the warning message will be displayed here. This is also the area that the program will alert you if the network connection to the patient monitor has been disconnected. The first icon in the right corner will allow you to acquire the numerical data history from your patient monitor. The following button is used to admit or discharge patients within the program. The button next to this allows you to silence the alarms. The final button opens up the client settings menu, where you can adjust the settings on alarms, parameters, and waveforms. Below these menus, the waveform and parameter readings from your patient monitor are displayed. This completes the overview of the BT Link program. 